Martinez here with Blank TV, and uh, we are in Alameda, California, on the USS Hornet for the Pirate Press 15 year anniversary. Uh, this is Rock the Ship Fest. I'm here with Skippy, the man, the Thank captain. For, thank you for coming over and having a chat. Thanks for having us, man. I have virtually no voice left, but I'll try and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. speak loud enough. <laughs> okay. Well, um, to 15 years, did you think 15 years ago that you would be having an anniversary like this on a ship? No way. No way. I mean, 15 years ago, we were just figuring out what to do and like how to make a real business out of what we were doing on a really small level. What made you want to get started in uh, well, I, I started pressing records for somebody else and didn't really see eye to eye with them. And all the customers are loyal to me. The folks who actually make the records and check the public are loyal to me. So it was really natural to kind of go out and go and start Pirates Press. And a year into that, we got the interest to make records for ourselves. So here we are, 15 years later. And, like, the label itself is the reason why this can happen. But that wasn't the intention of the company to begin with. Like, the bread and butter of the company is manufacturing records for other people, not like the bands that we love necessarily. And like the fact that we can now press records for bands that we love and people buy them and come to concerts and support us in like lots of other ways now is incredible. Well, we, we've been here for a couple days and we've both been saying to each other it's, it feels welcoming. Everybody is really good vibe. Yeah, it's and a celebration. Like, we're not just like festival promoters putting on shows. Like, this is our anniversary party. Like, we take it for real, you know? And, you know, that's why we have the approach that we do. We try and think of everything to make people's day fun and give them options. Like, you've already invited the weekend passes. For some nights, there's other options for them to do. If they want to come to this and go on Friday night only and they can't go Thursday or Sunday, they have to drop the money for the weekend pass. And you still feel like it's free and stuff. Really, that was the goal, you know, to make everybody feel included. Today we got Cox Bar, we got Subhumans, Street Dogs, uh, Monster Squad's about to go up. Yep. Uh, we just heard from the Drowns and Territories. Uh, now, when you have all these bands, and we all, Marshall Preachers, are awesome guys, well, it's, it seems like you have a sound that you're looking for in bands uh, that you like, or, or uh, how know. do you choose bands? I mean, for us, it's really a good decision in the office. Like, as, even though I own the company, so to speak, all the decisions we make are communal. There's never a record that I've put out that nobody else in the office likes. It's always something that we're discussing and talking about. And now, because a lot of bands are coming to us asking, we kind of have the approach where they have to be doing something. It's making sacrifices that make them stand, stand head and shoulders above other bands. And like, bands like the Drowns are a perfect example of, you know, being dedicated, getting in a van, just doing it. The same with Barstool Preachers. That's where the music actually gets out to people. Like, you don't find out about new music on Instagram or Facebook, you know, and actually haven't seen it in. It's a, when you go out to a, a show for a band that you love, and the band that opens for them blows you away. You're instantly a fan of that band. And so for us, it's like the next stage of the label, what we want to focus on is really connecting all of our bands that they're playing out more and like creating events for people. I mean, this is awesome. Rocket ship is incredible. But you can do that in a club in a night in a small way, creating the atmosphere that you talked about, like just by having the right group of people there. And for us, we know that some of these bands act the same way pirates do. Marcel Preachers, Drowns, those dudes talk the way we talk. They like have the same values and same outlook and positivity and that kind of stuff. And like what we want are for all of our bands to team up and like make fans of the label, of the fans, of what we've got going on. One family, one flag, you know, that kind of thing. That's awesome. So, yeah. so um, what would you say um, uh, is the next thing after this? I mean, this festival is huge. What do you guys have planned for the future? Uh, we'll probably have that conversation on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All hungover. I'm it? still half bummed that we didn't do this for two days with a sleepover on board. Because there's definitely sleeping for 2,000 on board. 
it would just be a bring your sleeping bag and your boots kind of thing. Uh, but it would be incredible. I don't know. That's the only thing that's so you could come up in conversation now. Okay. It's like this is too incredible to even think that you could top it. You know? And we're 12 minutes from our office. You know, all of our pirates are here from across the world, except for one who, Mike Josephson, Mike Longshot, who is Shout stuck out. in Canada oh, no. due to some visa issues. So he's the only one. Territory, territory should pack him up. We brought him on a stick <laughs> for all the photos. <laughs> oh, is that who that is? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. That's but yeah, awesome. we've got like uh, uh, at least 10 people here from the Czech Republic between the factory and our team over there and we've got all the East Coast Pirates and folks from Texas. It's awesome. It's a That's family. Awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 My folks are here. Lots of people from home are here. My sister's here with her kids. My nephew's turned six today. Happy birthday, Adler! Hey, happy birthday. So um, you, you mentioned family and like like relationships. Um, they require compromise. Is there anything that you will not compromise on with this? put together awesome ideas, sent it out to all these tattooers, and they came back with stuff, and like every single one of it was perfect. We, just got it, we all just passed them around the office. It was amazing. So yeah, we made them either on black or white shirts, 30 bucks a piece, and all the money is going to charity. It's the same charity. So, that's awesome. Um, so what, what are you excited about coming up? Monday, I'm sleeping. Yeah, sleeping. Yeah, yeah. This has this been a relatively large endeavor. You yeah, exactly. Only you can stress you out. Yeah, exactly. That's a great way to end it. Well, I really appreciate you uh, being so welcoming and having us. Thank you for and, joining uh, us. I'm glad you were able to come to all the other events, too. I mean, we, that's we kind of part of thing. why this is so special. Like, we're 300 of these people are going to the same thing, four days in a row, different bands, and feeling like they're part of the family. So, you guys are part of that, too. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Show.